So guys, I have a confession to make. I have to tell you something. I am sorry. I am sorry. CVPs, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm so glad you tuned in. I'm Caroline. In fact, there's hope, and we are the free flyers. So we are flying today. We just got on our park, and there is a dog and an owner. And I know this dog and this owner, and they're always in this park, and they're not gonna leave. So we'll have to share this park. But I have uh, Hope's GPS in here, so I'm gonna put him on a GPS and let him fly. All right, and hopefully this big dog is not gonna chase Hope. And let's let's just hope that hope is gonna like fly far away. Hope oh, no no. Okay, so we're right now in the park, and I hope doesn't want to fly with the GPS, but he has to. I need to know where he's going and what he's chasing. Right, Hope? No. I don't want to fly with the GPS. Mm. Okay. Moments later. All right, guys. I'm taking off Hope's GPS. Just because I want him to have fun. Come on, go fly. One, two. Go fly. <laughs> Is this better? Mm. You want to go fly now? Huh? Huh? GPS is over here. Yeah. Go fly. One. No. Oh, baby. Moments later. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good boy! <laughs> Look how happy he is. There you go. So the only reason why I took off the GPS is because Hope just has like another 30 minutes till the sun sets and I just want him to have fun flying and he's not gonna like fly away this is a location he knows this is a location where he gained his confidence so he's just gonna stretch his wings and fly and have fun but when we are in new locations and if he's like and there's a girl or like a, a other macaw then um, it's really necessary for him to put his GPS on because I know my bird so I know he's not gonna fly far or fly away so I'll just let him have fun also this GPS uh, we use the Trackimo GPS which is $198 you can get it off our website um, angelicparrots.com and <laughs> we use the Guardian the 3D Guardian and I have it secure in a backpack it comes with this this little pouch case and um, this is just a temporary solution he's illuminated right there on the top of the tree and, there's little... ah! Ah! and he's singing are you singing are you singing there's a hummingbird checking him out <laughs> go fly, Hopi! Go fly! Uh huh, go fly! There's a other GPS what people are using, uh, not the tracking mode, but it's another track, um, it's another GPS. And I think just the GPS by itself, just the, the GPS is like $1,200 plus the equipment you have to get like a tablet and antennas and the telemetry stuff and it doesn't go with satellite so you can like track your birds even in the mountains where there's no satellite which is great but i'm not flying him like deep in the mountains or in an area where there's no reception like i fly him in the city or in urban areas where there's all over like satellite reception which is nice so the gps is really also this tracking was also really nice because it's lightweight it's just 30 grams and you can put it in like your drone or your like like anything like you can just use it for any pet not just for birds and you can track your car your backpack your granddad or your father when they run away <laughs> you can put the tracking more in anything your cat or your dog on the collar so this is a great way to track your precious item or your precious pet that you don't want to lose and the other gps for birds it's like twelve hundred dollars plus another twelve hundred dollars for all the equipment so totally you are looking 
at plus tax like probably like 2500 um just for like tracking birds but it's like the professional setup for falconry falconry and uh, for falcons because they have really expensive birds but I, I just used the tracking more and we used the aviator har har harness aviator harness from parrotuniversity.com and I have trained Hope since he was a baby with this harness so it only goes if your bird is harness trained it doesn't it does not go if your bird hates harness or rips it apart you need to train your bird with a harness to fly with a gps otherwise you have to get the marshall's telemetry stuff and it's like 2500 and then you can have also a tail mount a leg mount i believe and they have also a backpack i tried a backpack with telemetry and a marshall's stuff and hope didn't like it it really poked his skin and his belly and he was fighting it and it was not really comfortable for him to fly with it plus because the tracking was like 30 grams and the other bird GPS is like a little louder lighter I think like 10 grams that's a difference to fly with it so that's the reason why we used to track it more <laughs> and you can get it on our website angelicparrots.com all right guys so I want to say something I have a confession to make <laughs> So Hope just came back. He's so happy flying, right? And he just got a little snack. Do you want to go fly again? Yeah. Oh, just relax a little. Just relax a little. Yeah, he's so happy. Hey guys, I also have my angelic merch on. If you want to get it, it's on our website. Hi. And we have also other stuff on our website, not just merch. We have the bird shop, we have Manzanita play stands, Manzanita 2 toys, Manzanita 3. Um, we have toys, we have organic toys. We have a lot of awesome other stuff, free flying stuff. Ah! And, <laughs> do you want to go fly? Do you want to go fly, Hopi? Yeah? Go fly. One, two, three, go! There you go. So guys, I have a confession to make. I have to tell you something. I am sorry. I am sorry. I wanted to write a free flying book for you with all the tips and do's and don'ts for beginners for free flying. And I thought I would be done by end of July. And unfortunately, I didn't make it. I know, it's just... Oh, there's so much going on and I've been so busy doing vlogs which take like a whole day to edit and it's really really time-consuming and then I have also um, other responsibilities so so sorry I didn't make it this month I hope that it will be out by end of next month end of um, August um, it's just really challenging to write a book. It will be my first book, but I really want to do this for you because I'm getting so many questions like, how do I get started with free flying? Um, what can I do with free flying? So I want you guys to know what I know in this book. But basically it takes like, like for me, I have to sit down and write and I need privacy and I don't have a lot of privacy. I have four babies always calling me and they're hungry and they want attention and I have like other responsibilities and family duties and then vlogs and and oh, editing. It's, it's just so much going on. So I'm really, really sorry that I couldn't make it this month. Hopefully everything will work out next month. Oh, Hope looks just so beautiful when he's flying. And yeah, and also, look, guys, we are growing so fast. So fast. We're getting every day right now, like 2,000 new subs, which is awesome. So I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we'll have one day a really strong army and we can bring change to a lot of birds and a lot of free 
and and a lot of people start free flying their birds and don't don't have their birds clipped and it will be just really really nice that we can have a bigger community of free flyers who don't clip their birds wings but even if they don't fly outside um, let your birds just fly in the house I mean I don't fly destiny and angel all the time like they don't get park privileges like hope does just because it's better to fly a bigger bird you can fly smaller birds definitely I mean angel is free flight trained but I fly angel in a open area with no trees and, and no hawks just because I don't want to lose him I flew him once in a park and like he flew right into a tree and he'll follow him and it was like kind of like a needle in a haystack kind of like situation for him for a little bird it's better to fly them in in open areas where there's like not too many dangers lurking and for bigger parrots it's better to fly in a park or in open urban areas but definitely budgies or cockatiels or conures or amazons can be free flight trained every bird can be free flight trained it's just your time and your commitment and your love and your bonding you want to put in that bird and if you see this don't do it yourself don't just my birds have training beforehand we go outside and i need to be 100 percent sure that he is recall trained and i i can trust this bird so don't do it by yourself and don't let your bird just fly off because if you just bring it outside it will just fly off that's their nature what i like about free flying is that my bird has a choice to come back to me and i love it every time he comes back to me he chooses me over his freedom which is just so beautiful that my birds have a choice and yeah angel and destiny they fly inside the house which is great because they're so small they don't need to fly outside but they have their full wingspan even fave they can fly all over the place yeah so this was it this was the vlog for today i hope you enjoy it friendly uh she might want to hunt it down yeah <laughs> let me stand up Sit. Stay right there. Do you want to put her safely in a leash? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Rishi. Yeah, she probably pick up his scent. Rishi, sit. Little hunting dog. Rishi, sit. <laughs> I mean, he pro she probably never seen such a beautiful bird before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. There was a little dog which I got home. A little hunting dog, but he put him on the leash so everything is fine. <laughs> Alright guys, this was the vlog for today. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification button, and let me know what you think. Hope is having a snack right now. Hope do you want to go in your cage? Yeah.